Okay, hello. Um, today I'm going to be giving a BCC tier list uh, with 100% of my honest opinions. And this video is 100% only facts. Trust me, I know everything. All right, so. Uh, so here we got um, a bunch of players from both season one and season two. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be ranking them. We're going to start off from the worst to the best players. And uh, yeah, okay, so. Out of all these players right here, I think that YSG is probably the worst player in BCC. Uh, he just, like, doesn't perform that good. Hasn't had any, like, uh, special moments. And, uh, yeah, I just think everybody else here is way better. He's never come top um, of leaderboards, so, yeah. Uh... Uh, the next player in F tier would probably be uh, Building Bard. He really hasn't done anything either, but I feel like, well, in the last event, he outplays YSG, which already makes him better than YSG, but um, I just feel like he just, like, is way better at almost everything than YSG is. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, the next player in F tier would probably be, uh, Andy here. Um, Andy, I haven't seen him done anything, and from what Plushy says, he isn't top tier material, if you know what I mean, but, uh, definitely a great guy. I've been in VCs with him. He's pretty cool. Um, obviously no hate to anybody here, but, uh, these are just, like, stats, you know? It's, I'm just a messenger here. Um, E tier. Uh, E tier would probably have to go with Tree. Tree said he was going to come first individually. Let's just say that didn't exactly happen. So, yeah. Hasn't had any, any standout performances at all by any means. So, yeah. Somebody else I would say is definitely hasn't had, like, the best record is probably Proven Disaster. He's played in one official event, and I don't believe he played that good, but to be fair to the guy, he's only played once. And I think a couple tests, but that's about it. He hasn't really had any stand-up performances. I do think he's slightly better than Tree, though. Uh, don't know what happened to him, though. I think he deleted his channel or something. I don't know. Uh, D tier, all right. Um, in D tier, we'd probably have Carmen. He usually... Well, I think from the one event he has played, I think he has done pretty good, but uh, it wasn't anything like too outstanding, you know. I, I think it was bottom half, but he did outplace a couple other people that were around here, so I have to give him credit for that. So I don't think he's the worst player out there, but he's definitely not top tier either. Um, slightly better than him is Jacket. He hasn't played in a while, but um, I do not think he's um. He's a contender for S tier, that's for sure. But uh, he's a pretty cool dude, and uh, yeah, he just hasn't had that many standout performances, in my opinion. Um, another person in D tier, honestly, could put put him in C tier, but I don't think he compares to anybody else up there. So, um, Noah Sun Gaming will have to be in D tier. Uh, well, I don't think he's played an official event, but from what I've seen, he's pretty decent. I I would say. Uh. I just don't think he's as experienced or as good as some of the people in C tier or above. Which, speaking of C tier, uh, we have quite a bit of people here, so I think I'm just gonna move him down. Okay, moving on to C tier. Um, the worst player in C tier is probably um, Rose Fiber. Well, he isn't the worst player out there. He isn't really one of the top players, in my opinion. He's a pretty cool dude, though, so, yeah, I'll give him that. Um, better than him is... Okay, don't ignore that. Uh, slightly better than him is A Rush, or not slightly. I would say a bit better, but not too much. Um, a Rush, I feel like, has done a bit more than Rose Fighter, but honestly, you could probably switch these two around. They don't usually come top or bottom half. They're pretty even, which is what C tier is here. I might as well explain the tiers right now. F tier... Uh, I'm not going to say that. E tier, I'm not going to say that. D tier is like, you mostly perform below average. 
uh, C tier is like you can either place above average or below average. B tier are good players that are almost like good at almost every game, but have some weak games out there and you know are pretty decent at almost everything. A tier are great players. They are really good at almost everything. They might have some weak games here and there, but um yeah, they can pretty usually semi carry a team and are can be leaders when they have to, so yeah. And S tier obviously they're leaders usually get top five almost every event and, you know, carry the team. Uh, not bad. They didn't mean to say carry, but, you know, they usually do better than most of the team. Okay. Okay, now that I explained the tiers, hopefully you guys won't be mad about it. Um, better than A Rush would probably be World Peace. I haven't seen him play in a while. Last event was probably, like, BCC 8. I played with him in BCC 7, which... I was just say I clapped his team, but uh, in Sky Battle, but that's besides the point. Pretty decent player, I would say. Hasn't had too many outstanding plays, but I do think he's probably better than these two players, but I don't know. I haven't seen him play in a while, so I might be wrong. Slightly better than... No, not slightly. A bit better than him is Ice King. Ice King did have a pretty good event in Sarcoma 2022. But other than that, I don't think he has done too, too well. But, I mean, in Tessie, he does pretty decent, I guess. But, like, the people above, like, the rest of the people here, like, do way better than him. Or not way better, but they usually do better than him. Um, Another old player, Golden. Um, I do think he's probably better than Ice King, but uh, I think the rest of the players are better than him. But um, Golden has had some pretty decent moments, especially in the early BCCs. Um, yeah, I think he's just better than uh, the rest of the people below him. And better than Golden is the Molten J. Last event he played was probably, I don't know, BCC 13, I think it was. But um, yeah, he's pretty decent at PvP, I would say. And But he kind of lagged at almost every other game. But I would say he's a pretty good player, though. I've seen him play in Test, and he's a pretty good uh, player. And uh, I do think he is better than most of these guys. I don't think he's played a real event, but um, if he were to play, I would say he'd probably come around 12-ish place. I think, no, I think he has played an event. I think he placed like top half, but I don't know. They, they didn't really do the individual for that, so I can't really, you know, say what how good he did at that event. But in the test, he's pretty good. I just think the people above him are better than him. Um, a player that... Uh, Usually can come in top or bottom half is number league. Now it really depends on his team and you know how he his mood. You know he can either perform good or perform uh, not so great. But um, I do think he's uh, pretty decent at almost every game. Not really any weak games, but not really any strong games either. So a pretty decent player in my opinion. Better than number league is Till. Um, I do think he's a pretty decent player, probably better than number league, but like, it depends on the day, really. These two could probably swap. From the tests that I've seen him in, he is pretty decent, but these are just tests, you know? Can't really, like, judge someone by a test that much, but, you know, most of players I'm judging by tests too, but, yeah, I think Tails played, like, two events, I think, which I think he performed pretty decently at, so, yeah. Actually, no, one of, he didn't even get to play that much. He came, like, last place, but I don't think that, you know, really counts, you know? Um, uh, the hell that is? Whatever. All right, so, Twaj. The first event he played in was BCC 10, I think it was. I think he came, like, top half, I, would, I think it was, yeah. He came, he won that event. Fast forward to BCC 14, man came, like, basically last uh so yeah man fell off but he had one good event and one bad event he hasn't played between those nor tests so yeah i think i would put him at the highest c tier rating i could give him because he has one good event and one bad event so yeah um on to b tier the good players that are you know have are pretty good at almost every game but they might have some weak games here and there um 
I would say Crystal is probably the lowest in the B tier, but don't get me wrong, she's still a, a pretty good player. I think she's played the last one or BCC fourteen. I don't I can't remember, but I think she did like in top half. But some of the other events she's played in, she didn't perform as well. So I think but I think she's played better than she's played worse. So I, I think I'll put her at B tier. Better than Crystal, I would say is probably Rainbow. Um, same as Crystal. I think he's played a bunch of good events, but he's also played some like not so good events. So yeah, these two are can you know be interchangeable. So it doesn't really matter who's above who. Pretty even in my opinion. Uh, next up would have to be Crazy Guy. He was in the BCC 12 Aqua Axolotls, I think. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he got pretty much carried. I think he came, like, top half, but, like, I don't think he really did that good, considering, you know, he got pretty much carried, so, you know, yeah. Uh, but I think, I still think he's a pretty good player. Better than Crazy Guy, I would have to say, is Fake. Fake also has some good and bad days where you can either play good or play bad. Or not, I wouldn't say bad, but like, you know, not his best days or events, I would say. Fake, I don't really think has any bad, bad games. I think his worst game would probably be like a PvP game, but I don't know. He's pretty good at Cubecraft, though, I'll give him that. Especially for a mobile player. Um, Better than Fake would have to be... Um, where is he? Luke. Now, Luke is a is a pretty good player. I'd have to give him that. He does pretty good in... Yeah, I think he's undefeated in dodgeball, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know, though. But he he's won a lot of dodgeballs in tests, of course. Has he won in a real event? I don't know. I think he did. Uh, well, it's, actually, no, I think he did win, but, like, he wasn't in the actual dodgeball. Rose subbed for him, but I, I still think he's a good player. Not really any weak games. Better than Luke, I would say, is, uh, sorry, I don't know your name, Nelson, I think it was. I've been in VC, I've been in a VC with him. He's pretty chill, pretty cool dude. Um, I think he is pretty good at, um, the test he's been in. You know, honestly, him and Luke are pretty interchangeable, in my opinion, but, uh, yeah. I might say Luke is better than Nelson, or Nelson's better than Luke. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, they're, you know, they're pretty good at almost every game. Better than Nelson, I would say, is Death Flare. I think I've also been in, like, a test with him, and I don't, I don't call him on that, though, I really don't know. But I've also seen him in tests, and he's also pretty good at, um, in the test. I don't, I think he might have played an actual event. I don't remember, though. But yeah, he's pretty good. Better than him, I would say, is AJ. Now, AJ is, a, uh, let's just say, uh, really good at PvP. But other than that, I don't really think he's really good at any other game. He's pretty decent at them, though, so, yeah. I don't think AJ's won an event. He's almost won an event um, in BCC 9, I think. Yeah, the Christmas event, but uh, unfortunately he lost. It's all good, though. Better than AJ, I would say, is Nake. He always says he's A tier. I do not believe that at all. I don't think he can really, like, semi carry a team. But don't get me wrong, he's really good um, at BCC. Uh, he could be debatable to H, honestly, but uh, I don't know. In my opinion, I don't think he's there yet. If he does, if he pops off in an event, I will, probably will move him to A tier. But for now, I think he's um, sitting comfortably at B tier. Better than um, Nake is uh, the banana, the god himself. Um, banana's kind of like, um, there are people at C tier. But I feel like he, you know, does better than most of the people in C tiers in most uh, games. So I did have to bump him up to C tier. I do think he's better than Nake, but slightly. These two are also pretty interchangeable. Um... And better than Banana is, uh, where is he? Your boy Rain. Your boy Rain, honestly, 
I probably would have put an A tier, but he hasn't put an actual event yet. So, yeah. But he is pretty good. Almost, like, pretty much the same level as Zeet's dudes. Um, so, yeah. Now I gotta move these dudes. Moving on to A tier. Now, these are the great players. Um, definitely someone you want to have on your team. Um, I think it... I think the lowest of A tier is... Grape. Grape, I've seen him in a couple tests. He is pretty good, but I don't think he compares to some of the other players in, you know, here. But he is still pretty good. Um, better than him, slightly. Hog. Hog really has no weak game, but, you know, he doesn't really excel at anything either. I, I think the, his best game would probably be something like Parkour Tag or something. But, yeah, the little guy is pretty cracked. Uh, at BCC. Little fun fact about him, I think he was like, he went like back to back, I, would, I, would, I think, with Gamer Diamond. So yeah. So yeah, two time winner here. Um, Better than Paul, I would have to be Foofy. I think that was his name, I don't remember. Um, Fifi was came second individually. However, I do not believe that. Um, but yeah, I think he still played pretty well, even though I destroyed him in a uh, sky battle. Um, yeah, pretty good player, almost his pog level, but I think slightly better. Because um, yeah, I think he is slightly better at PvP, but I really can't tell because I destroyed him so many times. Anyways, uh, better than Fufi is Pigus. Pigus is the best non s tier movement player in my opinion one bcc 14 yeah he's goaded he's so cool too um well he has no weak games either so yeah um better than pigus though is ratlack i think his name was he only played one event which i i think he lost dodgebolt i don't yeah i think yeah he definitely lost dodgebolt from what I could tell, he's pretty good at the game. I think he's really good at PvP, but uh, other than that, I don't think he performed that well in other games. But don't get me wrong, he still performed really well. I think he came top half. Um, I think he did. No, he most definitely did. Most of these players always come top half. So do the people at B tier, but like you know, sometimes they might come bottom half too. But A tier almost never drop out of the top half. Now. Above Ratlack is Ritual. I teamed with him in uh, BCC 12, I think. Didn't go too well, but I do believe if he plays another event, he will probably pop off. Yeah, Ritual's pretty goaded. Especially out of BCC. He's a really good player. Um, above Ritual, though, um, someone that really surprised me is S Major. I think he's improved a lot, and I would say he's a really good player now. I don't think he compares to the rest of these people though, but you know, he's still a really good player. Definitely you definitely would want him in a team if you want to have a chance of winning. Any team this dude's on um is almost guaranteed to get into dodgeball. Well not almost guaranteed, but you know he's pretty good. Especially at build mark. Um yeah. Pretty good. Um above him though I would say is Rayless or Gamer Diamond, whatever he goes by. Um, I think he's like a three-time winner undefeated, I think. But to be fair, he hasn't played many events. I think he played BCC 7, 8, and uh, 10. Yeah, 7, 8, and 10. He, I'm not going to lie, gets carried a lot, but he is still a good player in his own right. I think S Major is individually better than Gamer Diamond. But Gamer Diamond as a team player, you know, is better than S Major. He does contribute a lot, three time winner, so he is pretty goaded. Um, above Gamer Diamond, though, I would say is Star Crusher. Star Crusher was in BCC 11 with Zig and uh, some other dudes. I don't remember. Sorry. I think it was like number link. I don't remember though. Um, but yeah, he he really did really good. He got his team to second place versus a really OP team. 
So just me, Plushy, Nake, and Ninja Isaac. Yeah, so he would have had a hard time defeating them in dodgeball. He did lose in dodgeball, however, you know, he he did pretty well in to get to dodgeball. You know, um, you know, there's a reason he got picked to be in the little little team merge. You know, he was pretty good at the game. From what I saw, he is actually really good. I remember Plushy saying that saying that he probably isn't gonna catch his team in Parkour Attack because Star Crusher was in there. So I'm gonna have to take Plushy's word for it and say Star Crusher is a pretty no not a pretty. He is a great player. Definitely would want a team with him if he ever comes back. Um now above him I would say is uh where is he? Choco. Choco is pretty much Star Crusher, but slightly better. I think he came from Mini MCC, a Java event. I don't remember. Um, he was pretty cracked. Yeah, him and Star Crusher were really cracked, dude. Really cracked. I would definitely want a team with them. Um, from what I can tell, these two dudes were pretty chill as well. So they were really cool dudes, really good as well. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't think they won an event though, but I do think they definitely deserve it. Um, really, they don't have any weak games, honestly. So they're pretty much at the top of A tier. If they played more, I do think they could probably become S tier. No doubt in my mind. Now, the best player in A tier would have to be Rhino. Rhino absolutely popped off in his first event. I think he came like third, I think it was, or at least, definitely top five. I was considering putting him in S tier, but since he's only played one event, I don't know how good he would do again. Especially with the new rosters and stuff. But he is a great player. I think he destroyed Plushy's team with just an iron chest blade and boots in a Sky Battle match back in BCC8. That was pretty impressive, honestly. I'm not going to lie. He's probably one of the better PvPers. So I think he definitely deserves to be on top of 8 tier. Now on to the S tiers. The pinnacle of the best players in all of BCC. Coming in at, what is this, uh, seventh place or seventh best BC player. This is eighth by the way. eighth, ninth, tenth. The tenth best player is Star Crusher, ninth is Choco, eighth is Rhino. And coming in at number seven is Kibro. Now, Kibro only played one event, which he did. We did unfortunately come third. I teamed with him. I do believe if he played again, he would definitely come top five again. I do believe he's an S tier. He just had a really bad day that day, or a bad event that day, I should say. But he is really good at basically no weak games at all. I think his worst game would be Build Mart, but come on, whose worst game is in Build Mart? Um, if he play this the um, event here in the twenty seventh, I think we can win. He's definitely coming top five as well, or I hope so, anyways. Or at least at the top seven, I would say. He is really good at dude. especially in PvP, especially on Zeke. Or Zekwa, whatever you want to pronounce it, like he is goaded as hell. Um above him though, I would say is GG Gamer. Now he is really good at PvP. Um he is definitely better than Kibro because Kibro's only played one event. GG Gamer has played two events, which I think he won once and lost once in Dodgeball. Really recent though. Um a really great great player, obviously. He's an S tier. Um, yeah, you definitely want him in, on your team. Above him, though, I would say is Ninja Isaac. I would say the best dodgeball player to ever be in BCC. He was a really good player as well in almost every game. I remember I wasn't able to catch him in parkour tag, which is pretty impressive. Um, yeah, he was really goaded. So, G Gamer is a sixth, and Jai is the fifth best player in BCC. Four. The fourth best player in BCC, in my opinion, is probably Zig. Now, Zig could honestly be third place or fourth place, honestly. Like, they're really interchangeable with the next person, which I think you probably know who it is. Um, Zig is cracked at everything, my guy. He is really good at movement games and really good at PvP games. Honestly, I think. He really got unlucky in BC14, and he probably would have won if Aegis didn't um, drop out. But um, that's a story for another day. Um, 
yeah, he's really cracked at everything. Won BCC 10. I forgot to mention Ninja Isaac won BCC 11 and BCC 13. Um, yeah, Zig is really cracked, dude. Um, but above him, in my opinion, is Angry Pickle. Angry Pickle is not as good at movement than Zig, but he is definitely better than uh, PvP than Zig. So yeah, these two are really interchangeable. Angry Pickle won his first event, BCC 14, I think it was. Sorry for the cars outside. Um, really proud of him that he won. This event really has no weak games, honestly. Yeah, these two are cracked. Honestly, interchangeable. It really doesn't matter who's above who. Now, number two, or the second best player in BCC is me, Abolish. Um, I don't really want to brag or anything, but like, consistently come top five in almost every event that I've played in. Um, I've won three times. I really don't consider my second win though. I really didn't like that event, but um, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm great at every game, literally every game. Not even Build Mart is a bad game for me. I'm more of a team player than like a solo player, honestly. I do try to get my teammates to play better than they usually do, which is why I don't usually make dodgeball. Um, I usually come like third place. Like, come on, man. But um, uh, what the hell? What the heck did I do there? Um, yeah, I am the second best player, in my opinion. I think a lot of people would also say that. And um. The best player in BCC, of course, is Plushy33. Absolutely a legend. I don't think anyone's ever going to be close to him. Me, Zig, Pickle are pretty close, but I think it'll take a while for us to become on the same skill level as him. The most wins ever, seven wins, I think. Um, Vols everybody. Um, so yeah, that's my tier list. Um, most accurate, harshest tier list you'll ever see for BCC. Uh, thank you for watching.